almost there. We're almost there. Look at that. Hey everybody, we didn't really have any technical difficulties this week. This is a momentous occasion. Welcome back for another week of Walking with God. I am Kyle Walker and you are joining us here on WYTV7. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we uh, had a week off last week due to 4th of July, so I hope everyone was safe and enjoyed Independence Day. Uh, I know that I certainly did, even though the weather here in Kansas City was less than great for our uh, our fourth but uh, we're, we're making up for it now as we are in the middle of a horrible heat wave here in Kansas City it is hot out there so if you see me start to perspire I mean I'm, I'm very excited to do the show but it's also really hot so uh, one thing I was gonna try and do this week is start a little slow just to give people time to get in and uh, check everything out and then I'm going to also try and expand the Facebook window so that if people comment hopefully I'll be able to catch everything this time we'll see if that actually happens or not so anyway sorry now everything is starting to beep at me if you catch a lot of that beeping I apologize but this week we're gonna of course start with our opening prayer and again like I said I'm dragging my feet just a little bit here if you are into the Facebook live chat you can feel free to say hello hopefully it'll pop up on the screen here and I'll be able to see you but anyway before you do that let's go ahead and start this off in prayer Heavenly Father thank you for bringing everyone back this week we're so glad that everyone had a safe and happy 4th of July and that we're back to try and spend another half hour together to glorify your name and to uh, really just kind of work through any problems or issues we might have together as a family and as a team so be with us and guide us in Jesus name we pray amen so, all right, sorry about all the beeping there. I still can't see if anyone's saying hello. Anyway, all right, so here's what we're gonna talk about this week. I, this is gonna be a little different for all of us, myself included. We're not gonna really hit a divorce topic heavy this week, which is something that we've done previously. Again, this is only show number six. So, my computer just did something crazy. Hopefully I'm still alive. Anywho. I had a couple situations actually come up this week that I found surprising and so I was going to talk about them tonight. Uh, really the theme of tonight's show and you'll see it in the little title on our screen here is being bold and we're, we're commanded to do so in the Bible so I want to make sure we go over this but here, here's what I had happen. So about a month ago I'm at a, a group of men who are discussing this, this program that we're doing and one of the gentlemen in it he uh something he wants to improve on over the course of the next few months and really the course of forever is being bold and and not really being timid in his his walk or his faith or however you want to classify it some of the examples he used he wants to be able to go out of his house you know and wear his his as he put it the jesus freak shirt on or the the, the i am second or the not of this world uh and not feel any sort of embarrassment by this and that was something that really kind of caught my attention because as i sat around this fire you know i knew i was i was with a group of guys who were who were definitely you know big into the church into following jesus and to try and do all these things so i, I was surprised and he he also expressed you know he has trouble talking to people about his faith you know yeah i i i'm not one of those people i'm not out there on every corner trying to convert everyone maybe i should be but i'm not um, but I also don't have a problem talking to anyone about it. It you know, should have come along. So that was something that just it caught my attention. I thought, hey, maybe that's something we could talk about at some point. Fast forward a little later, and I'm, you know, I'm tr still trying to build this show. I'm still trying to get the word out that this show is going on and that it's something that hopefully people in will enjoy listening to and maybe will find helpful. And so I'm talking to some people about sharing the Facebook page, and someone in you know in my in my group says well you know i, I kind of have a hard time um sharing the page because religion is such a touchy thing with people and because you know, we don't always know what people's personal beliefs are he sort of had a i wouldn't say an issue but a hesitation to uh, to share this page and to get it out and again another thing that just kind of struck me as you know something that would that uh, got my attention. Uh, 
again, not not a person who I've known to be very timid. And if he's watching right now, you're not timid. So I was surprised. So anyway, so that was another example. And then the last one uh, happened just this last week. And it was another gentleman who was talking about um, at work and the troubles he has at work and how he's kind of afraid to be that out Christian at work because uh, for two reasons that I saw or that I noticed. One, there's already, let's call him an out Christian there, an outspoken Christian who doesn't have the best reputation at the particular workplace because maybe he doesn't practice what he preaches and so this person doesn't want to be lumped in the same category as this guy who again is the open christian but also is not very well liked by the staff and might not be the best example that a christ follower can be and i i understand that so that was the the first part of this and then let me see i want to make sure i, I followed my notes and yeah he just he doesn't want to be that guy he doesn't want to be you know, the, the one that people are afraid to afraid to talk to because of his faith and I think we've all run into that in some way shape or form you know they think oh well you're you're a big religious guy so I can't talk to you about this or that or the other and you know and that's never the case so really these were just three real quick examples of people who weren't weren't maybe living up to the boldness that we're called to live by and so I just, you know, as, as we normally try and do when I can find something applicable, we've got a few scriptures here that I found that you know, I just, I wanted to throw out there, make sure that people were aware of, because I've always felt as a Christ follower, and again, if you want to classify me in the born again category, you can. I returned to church you know, a little, little while back uh, in 2011, 2012, I'm sorry, 2012. So, but since then, discussing my faith has never been a drawback to me and wearing the shirt has never been a drawback for me this is stand for the flag kneel for the cross and so here's just a few and i see a few of them being thrown out there oh that's funny jen you got one that was on my list that's good stuff right there so yeah one, one person there is on the right page here's here's a few that i came up with first one is romans chapter 8 verse 31 it said if god is for us who can be against us and that's just that's so simple and yet so strong but again this all speaks to boldness and courage courage is another theme very uh heavily used in the bible so boldness courage it, it all is kind of you know, one and the same in, in my humble opinion people could disagree uh the other one comes from first first corinthians excuse me can't talk tonight this is chapter 16 verse 13 and this is remain alert keep standing firm in your faith and keep on being courageous and strong and i want to take a, a quick pause there on the ones from first corinthians here and go over to my actual bible which i do always have sitting next to me and then here here's something they said um this is this was paul in his letter to the corinthian church so these have always spoken to me because this is paul who's you know pretty big in the church let's not kid ourselves but he's talking to us. He is writing letters to the church. He's writing letters to, for lack of a better term, the every man. And so these have always really spoken to me. This is not, you know, this is not Old Testament and God spoke to Moses or something like that. No, this is Paul talking to a ding dong like me. And so that's always really resonated for lack of a better term. So again, Paul says, remain alert, keep standing firm in your faith, keep on being courageous and strong. And then Joshua chapter one, verse nine says, I've commanded you, haven't I? Be strong and courageous. Don't be fearful or discouraged because the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Again, seems, seems to me like that's pretty self-explanatory. All of these are, these are not big, deep thoughts. This is, this is just the word and this is the easy stuff to follow. And this is what we should be following and should be living by every day. Uh, the last one is Psalm 27, verse 14. It says, wait on the Lord, be courageous, and he will strengthen your heart. Again, seems seems simple enough. So that's uh, just something I wanted to touch on. You know, don't be afraid to wear the t-shirt out in public. Don't be afraid, you know, to, to invite people or to talk to people. And then don't be afraid to be that guy. I, I'm, yeah, I, I understand the fear. I just uh, I'm gonna try and 
nudge you through it using scripture uh, because we're we're called as Christ followers to be that guy you know let it be known and open that you are a Christian and I think you would be surprised at the the doors that it would open for you so I'm gonna take a real quick look here because I can see some of our uh, Facebook stuff going through let's see here I am Daniel is there hello hello okay all right Mary's here yay and again, I, I, I kind of skipped over it because I wanted to dive into the subject. But our phone lines for another week are open. Uh, and let me get you the phone number here real quick. We'll take, a, we'll take a quick pause. Sorry. I know I'm jumping all over the place. But if you haven't watched me before, it's kind of what I do. So the phone number, 980-202-2915. So you can give us a call if you've got a question or if you've got a comment. If you want to figure out where I get my really awesome hats, go Royals. You know, whatever the case might be, give us a call. Talk to us here on Facebook. And then uh, I see the producer is, is throwing more stuff out there. So, yeah, it, while you listen to me or if you mute me and just have the, the uh, window open, uh, we are always putting stuff here on the page for you to read during the show, after the show, on the Facebook page. So there's always something uh, somewhere to find. And also... I'm super excited and I'm a dork about these things, so I'm really, I'm, I'm going to kind of apologize. The bracelets I told you about came in. Look at that. See, Walking with God on WYTV7. So again, you can get a hold of these if you want. Uh, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to hook you up. My only request that is, was that maybe you uh, send a donation to uh, WYTV7, but you know, even if, if you if you don't feel that calling i can still hook you up with a bracelet i have plenty hi kelly my most loyal and wonderful fan so all right so that's that's where we're going to touch on uh just the the being bold aspect you know i never want you to be don't be afraid of your faith or your belief and not that you're really afraid of it but don't be afraid to to voice it you know live boldly um you know if if you're too timid you never know what opportunities you could miss you know if i was scared of you know, coming on here every Tuesday night and sounding like the complete rank amateur that I am, then you guys would never get to listen and I wouldn't be able to, at least in my mind, hopefully, help. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, so there it is on the screen. Yes, donations for the bracelets are always appreciated, but I can absolutely hook you up. Anyway, back to where I was. All right, so, uh, yeah, I, I want you to live boldly. And, you know, I'm, I'm a believer of you know, live boldly, you know, and, and be real. You know, what you see is what you get. And I think that's always the, the best way for any of us to live. If you see somebody who's doing work and doing things right and working hard and busting tail, you know what, then, then good things are going to come for them. And I think that, you know, if, if that's what you see, then that's really the person that they are. If you see someone who's being, you know, a little, little shady or a, a little eh, underhanded, you know, then that's probably who they are. But as Christ followers, we're called to just be real, be bold, and be courageous. And so that's really going to be what I'm harping on, um, you know, at least for this week. So uh, I debated on if I was going to actually, you know, tell this story or not. You know, we need to be, we need to be people that when somebody looks at us, they see a Christ follower. They see that, you know, this person is brave and bold. And I, you need to be the person that you want to. They, you need to be the person that you want people to see in you. Um, an example I had of this uh, a few years back, I was, and hopefully this doesn't scare you off. I was wrongfully accused of a crime a few years ago. Okay, now I say wrongfully accused. I was never arrested, never handcuffed, never fingerprinted, never anything. The worst thing that happened was I had to lose a morning to talk to a police officer. And that was the worst part of it. And I don't, re you know, that, that part is really neither, her neither, neither here nor there. That's just a little backstory. But what I found in this situation, which was actually a positive, you know, when something like this happens, it is upsetting, no matter what the circumstance is. And so what I found in the few people I confided in when I told them about this, nobody ever said, oh my goodness, you know, did you do it? Or, oh my goodness, this sounds terrible. How could you? It was never anything like that. People laughed and people's response was never to question me. It was almost, well, pfft, that can't be true. And so 
that to me was kind of the the affirmation that I'd always wanted that you know I I live the life that people see you know I I am what you see I'm a guy who's on this show Tuesday nights to try and help who probably has no business in broadcasting even though I enjoy the heck out of it and so it's just that's just my example of kind of you know, being being real that even in the worst of circumstances people still know me and they know my heart and it was never even a question of if I had done something wrong. The question was, was, was how untrue could this other situation have been? So again, just really harping on, be real, keep it real, be who you are. And we'll go ahead and just kind of move away from, from that particular subject. It's not fun to talk about, but it is an example of, you know, just being who you are. And so really though, I couldn't have, couldn't have been happier with uh, the way people responded that was the best positive to come from it so I know that this doesn't much like I told you at the beginning relate to divorce and you know, divorce situations but I suppose that if we if we spun it around enough it could you know you have to be real no matter where you are in your divorce you can't pretend to be something you're not divorce is going to hurt and it's going to cause you a lot of pain and you're allowed to feel that pain and for the people who that say that you're not allowed to feel it or you're not allowed to express it, you absolutely are, but you have to do it in the right circumstances. You have to do it in what is a popular term these days. You have to do it in a safe place. You have to be really careful of where you air your grievances, but you are allowed to be hurt in this circumstance, but you are also called. You are called to be bold and courageous even through the hurt. And this really comes down to it, especially when kids are involved. You have to be courageous. You have to be the courage for yourself and for them in what is always going to be a terrible situation. And it doesn't really matter how old or young your kids are. You have to be that rock. So just always keep in mind that that's what you are called to do. We've read the scripture. And again, that was just, that was shooting a BB gun at a freight train on all the times in the gospel that it's listed that we need to be bold and we need to be courageous and there i'm sure are a million ways to go look them up i highly suggest that you do you know don't ever just take my word for it you know we're going to list we've listed some of the scriptures here on the facebook live chat and you can always go look them up yourself look up every different variation that there is and again here in in my particulars this is the uh, the quest study bible it's the uh, niv version but they always, in the margins, explain various different verses and kind of the, the historical situation around them. And so make sure that you, you check this out and read however you want, however it helps you to learn. But don't ever just take my word for it. Get in the word, be in the word, and uh, only good things will come of it when you are. So really, we, we've talked mostly about what I had planned. You know, I told you guys I'm always gonna try and leave some time available for uh, phone calls, or for instant messaging or just you know hey talk talk if we want to you know whatever's on your mind um you know i've always i've always told you i am going to share you a bit of good news i was going to wait till the end of the show but now i don't want to i want to actually throw it out there now so i've talked about the other people who are just like me uh doing these shows for wytv7 and one of them today i i don't know how she classifies it but i think she's she's raise the bar so pink conversations which airs monday afternoons uh, hosted by tamika is going to go from a podcast like this formula to a broadcast on tuesday evenings i believe she said starting in september which is so cool i am so excited for her. she's going to have two hour show on tuesday evenings and it uh, she is out of fayetteville north carolina so if you are in the North Carolina area, it's 107.3, I do believe. And again, I just saw this this afternoon, so I didn't really get to put it in my show notes. But yeah, Pink Conversations now is moving from, well, and she's still going to do the podcast for WYTV7, which is great. But now she's going to have a two-hour show Tuesday evenings in North Carolina. So Tamika, Pink Conversations, congratulations from everyone here at WWG. That's my hip way of talking about walking with God. But I'm so happy for you and a great job on everything you do. I've, I've been listening and uh, I'm, I'm so happy for her. So 
again, that's a that's just something great happening here. Good things are happening to WYTV7 and the shows involved. And even if my show doesn't necessarily speak to you, which let's be honest, if you're not a divorced person or haven't really gone through a divorce, it's not going to speak that much to you. All you people who are watching out of loyalty and friendship to me, I love you all. Mwah. But there are tons of other shows that you could check out that would uh, maybe speak to you a little better. And I would highly encourage you to do that. You can find WYTV7 on Facebook, just like I beg of you to tell people about my show on Facebook, because that's what gets the word out. So I'm going to do another quick look here. Oh, I was wrong. It's 107.4. Okay, so pin conversation 107.4. Good job out of her. And I wish this thing would scroll better. Move for me. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we're still we're still waiting for that first phone call, but I know it's going to be any day now. Oh, okay. And uh, yeah, another show, Financial Confidence, God's Way. That's with Lynn. Uh, we will have to get you the the times of when that's on. I think she did an episode today. But that is for uh, that is a financial expert who can help you with your money like a lot, and so definitely something that I need as well. So again, we want to just celebrate, you know, the other people who are out here doing what they do. Um, I can go over my social media stuff again. So again, we've got the bracelets, and I have plenty. You can give us a call, as always. 980-202-2915 and then you know find us on well you if you're watching this you found us on facebook but i am also sharing this to other sites and other pages so if you are not a fan on facebook or have given us a follow or a like here we go that is at wwgkw and then just click pages and you will be able to find us we have email and twitter and instagram just got started as well but we'll worry about that another time i know i'm running a little short tonight but again i want to i want to leave open the opportunity for people to ask their questions or to call in or whatever the case is next week here on walking with god with kyle walker on wytv7 uh, if i can get the schedules to line up we're going to actually try and have our first guest next week and he is a a pastor at the church in which i attend and so we're going to kind of we're going to piggyback a little bit off of tonight's subject of living boldly and living courageously and we're going to we're going to kind of keep that momentum going and so again i'm hoping that we'll be able to get that next week but he's a pastor he's a busy dude so he's not he may not be able to just drop everything and come join us but we're sure going to try so that is going to be next week and then here for this week again next i'm not going to leave it so short next time but I understand it's after the holidays. People are, uh, people maybe aren't quite back. Yeah, there we go. See, look at that. My producer is on it. I like it. I don't have to try and multitask. So anyway, well, we're gonna we're gonna leave it here just a couple minutes short, just because I don't want to start a new topic and then have to get caught off here at the half hour mark. But I want to thank everybody for joining us. Again, be bold, be courageous. Uh, please, this week, if you think of anything this week. You know, I know that we're we're on live every Tuesday at nine Eastern, eight Central, and you know that's not the biggest window in the world in which to communicate with us. So please go ahead and you know send us a message on Facebook or email us or call or whatever. If you have something, if you're watching this over the weekend and you have something that you want us to talk about or want us to address, then please by all means get in touch with us. We are responsive on the the Facebook instant message, and we'll address it next week. I, uh, I wait all the way up until showtime to, before I uh, kind of finalize the topics. So everyone, let's go ahead and close it out in prayer. And then we will get out of here just a couple minutes early and let you enjoy the rest of your evening. If you're in the Midwest, you're just going to go lay under a fan with ice on your head for a while. So Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us all back here this week. Uh, it's always a pleasure when we're able to get together, uh, help everyone this week to live bold and live courageously and really just glorify you as we always try and do, as we try and do with this show, as we try and do in our day to day lives and everywhere in between. So Lord, bring us back here next week. Next week, we're going to have another great conversation. And if people have something on their heart, maybe they're just afraid to throw it 
out there and put it in the general direction of this show. I hope that you will we will lift that burden and really anyone that we can help, however we can help them, please send them this direction so that we can do all that we can for each other. So we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, everybody, have yourselves a great week. We will be back next week, hopefully with a special guest. And if not, you know what? We're going to get through it together because that's what we do. I'll see you all soon. Bye.